Hi guys, um, so I've had a few requests to film myself doing my makeup, which I've never done before, so apologies in advance if this is awkward as hell, but then it would match me. <laughs> um, so I had a lot of requests to do a look with the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette, so I'll be doing something with that today, I don't know what, we'll see what leaps out at me uh, when we get to that point. But in the meantime, I am going to do my base. So I like to dual prime because I have really oily skin through my T-zone, but I still like to have glowy makeup on the rest of my face. So I do an oil controlling primer through the center and then one that'll add a little bit of that healthy shine on the perimeter. So I go in with MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light on the perimeter of my face. So that's my cheeks. Down under my chin and up into my temples. And you can already see the lovely glow that that is giving me. And then Time Check Lotion from MAC. I have some pores through this area around my nose in the center that I am not a big fan of so this one's really lovely for just helping me blur those out and it's also really nice in the smile lines because I tend to have a lot of breaking apart of my makeup in my smile lines and my frown lines so I just like to put it in all of those places. Then for foundation today we are going to go in with one that I really like. It is the Bounce Foundation from Beauty Blender. This is full coverage. Obviously it's made to be used with a beauty blender. Mine is lovely and dirty. Um, but I actually like to apply it with a brush. And the brush that I use for foundation at the moment is a Revlon one. It is their foundation brush. So we're just going to pump some of the foundation out onto the little um, sort of palette of the foundation itself. And then we're just going to paint it on to begin with. And then when needed, we'll do that buffing motion. Now, some people don't like to put their foundation around their eyes. I do. It's just personal preference. I prefer my face to all be one color for a nice even base to start out my makeup with. Now time for concealer and like the primers I use two. <laughs> um, I have one thicker one that I like to use for spot fixing on the face. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. For under the eyes I like something a little bit more lightweight and that is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So we're gonna go in with the spot fix first and I like to apply it just with a finger because the warmth of the skin really helps blend out the thick concealer. And now we're going to go in with the under eye concealer. This one has a sponge tip applicator so you can dot it straight on the face which I really like. Then I just blend that out with my finger as well but obviously under the eyes is delicate skin so you want to use your ring finger. Now, sometimes I do the steps, sometimes I don't, depends how I'm feeling. Um, but today we're feeling a little extra, so why not? So we're gonna do some cream contour. So I have the Maybelline V Face Duo Stick. So you just wanna go right along the cheekbone, directly underneath it, around the forehead, focusing on those outer edges. You just wanna follow along your natural jawline and then why not we're feeling adventurous today we're just gonna do a little nose contour too so I always do two lines one just underneath the tip and one just sort of at the top of that bulbous bit um, that's gonna help give you that button nose effect and then you can even do some under your bottom lip to create that shadow to make it look fuller. I just blend that back out with my foundation brush. So I just wipe it for under the chin and then I do circles for the cheekbone going up. You always blend your contour up. That's gonna help raise that base, give you that nice high cheekbone look. Now that I have 
done blended out that contour it is time to set my face so I have been using the makeup revolution baking powder in the shade banana light I like to use two different brushes to set my face I have this one which I got in a random beauty box and I absolutely love it it is simply essential f3 whatever that is this one is a Morphe brush it's an M439 so you can see they're both really densely packed brushes this one is angled and this one is not so this one I like to do most of the face with but this one I do under the eyes and around the nose because you need that angle to really get in those fine weird shaped areas of your face I just dip it in the powder tap off the excess and before you set, so I always set my under eyes first. Before you do this, you're just going to want to double check that there are no creases in your concealer. So you're just going to look up, take that ring finger again, lightly tap out the under eye area. And then we just take that powder and directly go in under the eye. Now there is a fair whack of powder on here. So I also take it down the side of the nose while I'm at it. Once we have set around the eyes and nose and I do a lot on my nose because it gets really oily then we switch to this big bad boy for the forehead the chin and my big old chubby cheeks so next we're doing bronzer I am using my bronzer that I use when I am fairer which is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This one is specifically designed for lighter skin. And I apply that with a very high-end brush from Kmart. Doesn't have a name. It was literally in a packet by itself at Kmart as a powder brush. And I love it. Make sure I get a good coating. Tap off the excess. Pull a weird face off the... And I go back in along all those same places that we contoured previously. I like to be quite intensely bronze. It gives the face definition. And then for the nose, we switch to a different brush. This is the Morphe E62. I just take that same bronzer and go down the nose creating that nice line that we did before with the contour and underneath and then blush now I may be about seven million years late to the trend here but Milani baked blush in the shade luminoso is life so I use the real techniques blush brush to find where to put on your blush I just go with what I naturally got, which is big old apples. So I just start there and blend back. How cute. Okay, now we are going to highlight. I am obsessed with highlight. If I'm looking at something to go with sort of any look, my favorite is the shade Sarcophagus. And I like to apply that with a Wet n Wild. This is uh, sort of like a giant fluffy crease brush for your eyes but the highlighter pack it up with product get off that excess and you're gonna find that high point your cheekbone and just graze it along there now this shit is intense this is a strong highlight all Jeffries are if you like something subtle this isn't for you sweetie I want to be seen from the moon so here we are then we do the bridge of the nose. Some people do the tip of the nose. I do sometimes, I don't other times. I'm gonna do it today. Um, Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. Oh, and I like to blend it up and under the brow bone. A little bit there. And we're shiny as hell. It is time for the brows. I like using a really skinny little pencil, the Wet n Wild one, cause of price. My go-to shade most of the time is soft brown. To start, I brush all my brow hairs up and that way you'll see the natural line where they start. So I always like to start in the center at that arch and go back and do the tail first. Just defining that outer edge 
and then I draw one at the front of the brow and connect it to that one that I did at the back of the brow. And you want to be gentle, gentle handed at the front because we're going to try and do a brow fade to make it look a little more natural. And we're going to brush all the brow hairs down and repeat the same step but for the top of the brow. So now that we have outlined the brow, I'm going to brush all the all oh, going to brush all the hairs back up. And then we're going to start filling it in. Once we get to about just past halfway point, we're going to draw little flicks that imitate the hairs on your brow. We're just going to start at the bottom line and do flicks of little fake hairs going up and remember you want a nice light hand the closer to the front you get so you just take that spoolie and it is time to blend i blend by brushing my brows up it sort of combs the product through the hair meshing the two together and voila they are somewhat matching they're as good as we're getting, so we're gonna leave it there. Oh, the brow gel. I like to set my brows with just a clear brow gel. I use the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. And you can see that it's a nice, fine, little eyebrow sized brush. And so I literally just brush the entire eyebrow up with the gel. I just go back in with that brush and comb them down. Now our brows are done. So then we get to do the fun stuff. It's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go look at the palette, do one eye off camera, as they say, figure out what I'm doing, and then I'll be right back. To begin, we are gonna take Wet n Wild Crease Brush, dip into the color Mr. Diva. This one right here. Tap off excess, and we're just going to lightly dust that into our crease. So we've laid down that crease color, that's our transition shade. Then I took a pencil brush, this is a Morphe M222, and I dipped into a combo of the shades Boss and, ah, Boss Angeles, I get it, Boss Angeles and High Dude, this one and this one. So we're going to go dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip. I always finish with the lighter color of the two. And we're just gonna gently graze that into that crease, but in a much more defined line than that initial transition shade. That one we used the fluffy brush, we just buffed it out everywhere in the crease. This one we're really defining that crease. Buff it out, go back to that same brush, don't pick up any more product. Just gonna blend out those edges back and forth and also little circular motions those are your two blending movements in and taking a flat brush this is an unidentified flat brush probably morphe but who bloody knows any flat eyeshadow brush will do and i'm dipping specifically into that darker brown high dude we're gonna press it into that outer third of the eyelid. Doesn't need to look perfect, we just need to lay that color down. And then we're gonna go back in with that same crease brush and you're gonna blend that outer edge so it's not as harsh. I'm gonna diffuse the top edge. I'm gonna take the same pencil brush we used before, the Morphe M222. Dip it straight into High Dude, that darker shade again, and just put a little bit of that deep shade in the whole crease, but really lightly. We don't want to make it too dark. I just want a little bit more of that brown tone than the orange from the shade we mixed it with before. Diffuse that crease out wonderful then we're gonna take 
literally the most old munted broken Revlon brush it's just a smaller flat brush I'm gonna dip into the shade rolls with it which is this lovely gold metallic here next to the glitter just so we have a base color to put under that glitter to help merge it all together go in those inner two-thirds of the lid within that line where we just cut our crease before that's the bit we're gonna fill into when you reach the part which meets that dark color we put on the outer edge you're gonna take a tiny tiny little bit and just gently fluff it into that edge where it meets the brown just do not want to line. I'm going to take this e.l.f. glitter primer. We're just going to take a tiny bit of that on the same brush. And we're going to put it all over where we just laid that metallic gold shade down to prime our lid for the pressed glitter we're about to apply. And make sure where you did that gradient from the dark into the gold is where you put the least glue. Then we're gonna take same brush, and I have a million brushes, but I just don't like dirtying them. You can do a look quite simply with only a few. We're gonna dip into that gold glitter, which is called Millions. We're gonna press it onto the lid where we just laid down that glitter primer. Gently dotting bits out into that edge where it meets the dark brown. That is your top lid done. Then you are going to take one final pencil brush. We have a Morphe M431. We're going to dip into that green shade which is called Nate, which is a bit ooh, now, but whatever, we're going into that shade. Dust off your excess. You do not want green dust all over your beautiful base. And we're just going to smoke it under that lower lash line. So right up against those eyelashes on your lower eyelid. Then, eyeliner time! So I like to use liquid liner, particularly with glitter. Um, you need something that is super black to stand out against the glitter. The one I currently use is from the brand Soap and Glory. I bought this in the UK. It is their Super Cat Skinny Liner Pen. I'm just gonna go in as close to the lash line as possible and I just like to stamp it along and then we can go in and fill in any gaps but that way you're gonna get it as thin and fine as possible. Now, sometimes with glitter and stuff, it can be hard to get the liner to go on black enough. So, I'm gonna pull out my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. We're just gonna go over that line that we just did. Mascara time! I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh, but first, I like to warm this up by putting it between my thighs, cause thick thighs save lives and all that, but also warm up your mascara because it's gonna go on a lot more smoothly. While that's warming, we're gonna curl our lashes with this random dollar shop lash curler. So you're just gonna be nice and close to that lash line without pinching the skin. You know the drill. By now, our mascara is nice and warm. We're gonna go on the top lashes first. I always start on the outer corner because that's where you want the most volume. Bottom lashes. And now for the final part, lips. So I am going to go in with a collection lipstick in the shade Rosewood. Lovely, pretty, sort of warm tone nude. And then once it's on, we'll decide whether we want gloss or not. Okay, we decided to do gloss. Why not? Gloss is fun. And so a finishing touch is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. There's the finished look. We have glitter, we have bright color, new glossy lip. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's fun. So let me know what you guys think of 
this little tutorial um, let me know if you want me to do more happy to love playing with makeup and yeah thanks for tuning in bye guys